like a hundred million people. I watched the Oprah interview with the prince and his wife and stuff like that. And I might be the only person that just like went on a daze and I thought about something. So I went and Googled some stuff, bruh. British folks have some of the, the weirdest insults that you can possibly think of. Like I looked down a list of insults that British folks say. Can you imagine being called a twit? Not only just a twit, because a twit, I believe, means stupid or silly, right? Can you imagine being called a twit, right? But then on top of that, them calling you a bleeding twit. Like, you finna call me a bleeding twit? So it is not enough that I'm stupid. Now I'm a stupid person that bleed. Then they go from twit to twat. I don't even know what twat mean. I know what twat mean in English vernacular, but I'm pretty sure because British folks, English folks, London folks are so proper and so like leg cross, even the men cross their legs. With absolute, I believe they learn to cross their legs in the first grade anyways. So I, I imagine a twat is the male version of a twit. A twat is a more masculine twit. So if you call me a twit twat, I'm a stupid man. If you call me a twit twit, I guess I'm a stupid woman. So I'll be a twit twat. That's no problem. And then they got they call Americans Muppets. Hell, I like Muppets. I like the Muppet, baby. I'm I'm a huge fan. You calling me a Muppet, that's a compliment. That means I'm paid and I'm inclusive. So go ahead and call me a Muppet. Then they got a word called a slag. Now, I don't understand the slag, but that kind of sounds mean. That'll make me want to put hands on you and do some things to you and fight for my right to be a twit twat. I'm going to be the most masculine twat in all of twatville. Then they say if you stick two fingers in the air and go like this, Damn it, if, if 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 a woman did this to me or a man did this to me, I only know one thing to do with two fingers, and it gets women to the highest of mountains here where I'm from. So to all my British friends, to all my English friends, to all my UK friends, I don't mind. I don't understand how you're gonna call me a bleeding twit. Can I be a bleeding twat twit? Can I be a bleeding twatty twit? Because I don't get it. I don't I don't get how y'all think that's a uh, insult. Like that ain't going to get to me, but putting bleeding, like you, you bleeding, you bleed and twit. That would offend me. Cause don't, don't stab me. Don't introduce blood to your insult because then those are fighting words. So if you see me in the streets and I go, what's up twat. Don't even get mad. Don't get offended. Don't start hating. Don't get upset. That's your British friend calling you a masculine person. That's what, from the research I did and stuff like that, that's just, that's what they say and that's what they do. Um, I don't know what a slag is, a slug, or none of that. And then then a minga, minga, minger, minger, minger. Like, I guess that's supposed to be an unattractive woman, a minga. Nah, that's somebody named in America. Like, I know four or five mingas right now that can cook, clean, babysit, fix oil changes, fight real good, in dress, no panties. I know a minga or two right now. Y'all insults ain't y'all insults are way too proper and way too polite. I can show y'all how to insult some people. Just inbox me. But as far as being called a twat, that's a masculine twit. I'm absolutely fine with it.